in the heart of a small town nestled between rolling hills and picturesque forests. There lay an old neighborhood that was rich with history. The houses were quaint, and the streets were lined with trees that had been there for as long as anyone could remember. The community was tight-knit, and everyone knew everyone else. It was the kind of place where people went out of their way to help each other, and where a friendly wave was the norm. One year, as Halloween approached, the neighbors of the old neighborhood were buzzing with excitement. They were planning a party, and they had extended an invitation to the new residents of the area. It was a chance for everyone to get to know each other, and to welcome the newcomers to the community. The new residents, a young couple, were delighted by the invitation. They had moved to the area only a few weeks ago and were eager to make new friends. The friendly neighbors had been welcoming since the day they moved in, and they were grateful for the warm reception. The couple spent weeks preparing their costumes for the Halloween party. They wanted to make a good impression on their new neighbors and decided to go all out. The day of the party arrived, and they set out for the event, excited to see what the night had in store for them. When they arrived, they were greeted by the hosts, a couple who had lived in the neighborhood for decades. They were dressed in elaborate costumes, complete with fangs and capes. The new residents were a little taken aback by the outfits, but they brushed it off as just part of the Halloween spirit. As the night went on, the new residents mingled with the other party guests. Everyone was friendly and welcoming, and they felt like they had found a new home in the community. But as the night wore on, something strange began to happen. The hosts and their friends seemed to be getting more and more energetic. They were dancing wildly and seemed to be completely immune to the fatigue that was setting in on everyone else. It wasn't until much later in the evening that the new residents began to notice something even more unusual. The hosts and their friends had strange, pale complexions and sharp, pointed teeth. They moved quickly and gracefully, their eyes shining in the dim light of the party. It was then that the new residents realized that their hosts and their friends were not just any Halloween revelers, they were vampires. At first, the new residents were terrified. They had heard stories about vampires, and they weren't sure what to do. But as they watched the vampires dance and laugh, they realized that they had nothing to fear. The vampires were friendly and welcoming, just like the rest of their neighbors. As the night wore on, the new residents found themselves drawn into the party. They danced and laughed alongside the vampires, feeling more alive than they had in years. And when the night finally drew to a close, the couple realized that they had found something truly special in their new neighborhood. They had found a community that was accepting and welcoming, even if some of the residents happened to be vampires. From that night on, the new residents embraced their new neighbors, even those of the blood-sucking variety. They knew that they had found a place where they belonged, a place where people looked out for each other and celebrated life even in the face of death. And every Halloween, they joined in the festivities, ready to dance the night away with their vampire friends.